listen. Listen. It's pouring outside. <gasps> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about the pieces that you can still buy now, but you can use those pieces into the autumn time because August is that month where summer stuff, especially towards the end of the month, is gonna start going on clearance mode. You want to look at pieces that you can get right now, but you can turn around and wear them straight into September, October, even into November. It has to be a word that that joins summer and autumn or, or summer, and, summer and fall, like some fall. God, that sounds really stupid, doesn't it? Right, so these are the pieces that I've been looking at. It's gonna be a mixture of pieces that are online. Why is my dress time to undress me? Sure, okay, let's just go with it. And then I'm gonna show you some pieces that are around all about, you know, in New York, just to see the kind of things that's out there that I would be like, yeah, that'll be perfect, or no, that won't. So, all right, so let me just get dressed again and we'll just get into the video. Okay, so kicking off, this video is in partnership with Shop Tagger. I've told you so much about this bloody app. It's one of those things that had I not believed in it so much, I wouldn't obviously still be talking about it. It is still the app that I use the most as far as shopping. In fact, it's the, I think it's the only app yeah, it's the only app that I use. It's not the really app I use the most. It's the only app that I use when I'm going shopping um, online because you can use it for when seeing when things are going on sale, which is right now. And you can also use it for seeing when things are coming back into stock. I remember like over a year and a half, is it a year ago? It's over a year ago that I mentioned, first mentioned this app. And I remember at the time saying to you how I was upset because I didn't know an app like this existed because it's like the friend who knows when stuff is going on sale. Everyone has a friend like that, at least I have a friend. Actually, no, I don't have a friend like that. That's actually me. Anyway, so this is how it works. For those of you who still don't know, I'll go through these a little bit in detail. Um, so all you have to do is you click where it says, get the button, and then you just add it to your browser up here. Here you can see mine is already. So say if there's something you want to buy, okay? so. It has a list from A to Z of all the popular uh, stores that's online. I mean, everything that I shop is basically on this website. So I just go through. So for example, I'll say you're on Matches Fashion, okay? And then you're going into maybe the sales section and then you're just looking, browsing through. Um, let me see. I'll just pick anything as an example. Okay, I see this bag, this corduroy. It looks like, oh, it's a suede bag. So. Just click on the bag, so you're going, oh, I like this bag. So I've seen this bag on a Matches Fashion, just as just an example, it's a corduroy bag, has a really 70s throwback vibe, I actually like that. So 40% off, right? So once you've downloaded the um, app to your browser, you will get this, uh, will pop up on the side, and then you will just save it, or you want to be notified if there's any price change. For example, in August, things tend to go into clearance mode. So sometimes you'll find you'll come back and it will be even reduced further. So Shop Tagger will let you know. Um, and then you just choose where you want to put it. You can just set up these categories. I would put it in accessories. I set that on myself. And then you just click save. And that is it, it's done. And it's just added to your list automatically. So I'll show you here. And there you go there is the bag and these are other items that i've already saved um and just things that i am looking at whether they're on sale or whether they're not in stock and i want to see when they come back into stock um, and then on the side here you can see the brands that you are searching and then like i said here are the categories as before and that's sort of it in a summary i mean you can also look um in their portal of stores and this is just another way to just do the shopping. So instead of going onto a separate website, you can just go here and all the stores are alphabetically listed because uh, you're going to get an email notification and it can also send you text alerts to your phone. So it's just been a godsend to have the app. The Shop Tagger app is available on Google Chrome as well. And I think that is about it. Oh, there's one last update that they did. Um, they let you know if there is a special coupon before you check out. It lets you know if there's a coupon that you can apply and then get a further discount or just get a discount period even if it wasn't on sale. And I've been using it now for over a year. That's the longest I think I've ever used any sort of app 
apart from Instagram. I know for me, I just don't have the time to keep going back to so many different websites and checking, oh, is this back in stock because I liked it? Or is this back in stock because I liked it? Oh, is this back in stock? Oh, it's not back yet, I'll check back. Who's got the time for that crap? The bloody thing works, move on. It does exactly what it says on the team. All right, so moving on. Right, so I've got them all here on, on my laptop so we can go through them together. Okay, so first off online, I went to End of the Stories and I went straight to their sales section. Now, I picked out one um, jumper in particular and it was this mustard knit. Now, I was drawn to it, one, because of this color, which I think is just so pretty. Um, I'll put it on the screen so you can see. Um, it is got like a cable knit to it. I like the idea of wearing this when it gets a little bit cooler. As the weeks progress, it will slowly, eventually start to get cooler. So I thought this was a really good price reduction. This is something I would easily team with a satin skirt. I would put it over a dress, like a flowy dress like this, sort of skirt, maybe a pleated skirt that's really loose and re you know I have recommended pleated skirts to you before. To me, those are like forever, those are classics. Okay, and then on Matches Fashion, I saw this absolutely fantastic skirt. Look at this. Um, it is by, who is it? Colville, I think it's Colville's the name of it. Anyway, I thought this was, the color of this is so beautiful, especially for the next season. But it's that kind of nude color, so you can wear it now and you can wear it later. You know how I'd wear this right now? I'd wear it, if you haven't seen last week's video, I'll link it below, black one shoulder bodysuit I showed you last week, Friday. I would wear that with this skirt, right? Or I have a Reformation one, which goes, it's almost the same neckline as this. It's very square with really thin spaghetti um, straps, something that's quite small and fitted because the skirt is really, really full. Right. And then later on, because of the material, I turn around and wear it later on with the, maybe like a thinner knit and just tuck it in. Or maybe you could wear it like a, when it gets even cooler, I'd wear like a, <laughs> sorry. When it gets cooler, I'd wear like a t-shirt, tuck it into that skirt, and then layer a single breasted coat. It's got the flash of the skirt peeking out in between the coat as you're walking. I think that's gonna look amazing. And then with tall boots, I wouldn't wear ankle boots with this, I'd wear tall boots with it because it's so simple, those boots. Look at me talking about boots in the height of summer. Anyway, you understand what I'm talking about. The point in this video is thinking ahead, just looking at what's available, what's currently on sale that you can invest in getting in, not just buying just to buy. You're investing in these pieces to use now, but to turn around and wear later. Now, sticking with the same website, Stowed, have this classic bag, and I remember it during the whole of summer when this was available. It's currently now on sale, and I like that it comes in really wearable colors. It's available in this wine color. I think it's also available in the croc, which I think is absolutely stunning. Anything in croc to me looks so expensive. Look, I'll show you what I mean. Hold on. This is also by Stone. It's a completely different shape. Not really. Just to show you the quality of their croc pieces. This is how they look in person. I think they just do a really good job at croc finishes. So this bag, I can imagine, after you've seen what I've got, imagine what that bag probably looks like in the croc as well. So I thought if it was me, as you could tell by my reaction, I'd probably invest in that croc version because I think that looks beautiful later on. Like you've got it in the bend of your arm or all, all handheld next to a coat, next to a jacket. That's a beautiful luxury sort of piece that's very small, it's structured, so it's really gonna contrast nicely currently with all like your fluid dresses, your fluid skirt. I've always liked the contrast of something structured with something fluid. Oh, and then I think this is on the net a porte site. I saw the, my Ganny wide leg jeans. I have them in black, but they've got them currently available on sale in a faded like summer, um, denim color. Here it is on the screen for you. I love these jeans. I love them ever since I saw them last year. I was staring at them forever and then I met with Beth Jones when she was in New York and she had them in bright orange and I was like oh god that just confirms that I really do like them. So I got them in black this year and now they've got the blue version has gone on to sale. So I love these. It's, if I didn't have my black version, I would buy. I would definitely invest in getting these. Um, but you've got to be a lover of wide leg jeans. I am. Um, it's all about the cut, though. And I can tell you that the Ganny ones, these particular ones, they do fit really well because they're kind of slim here, and then they sort of go out. So it's not like wide from here going down, like two tree trunk legs. It really does sort of hug you here, and then it sort of tapers out wide. They're gorgeous. And sticking with Ganny, I saw this ditzy small print, just like this uh, floral print dress. 
Um, I think you and I probably have seen this dress for the past year, I think. It's a classic cut. Um, when you're getting a dress, I think you're looking for a couple of things. At least I am. I'm looking for, like I said, I'm looking for a classic cut. This to me is a classic cut. Reformations are classic cuts, generally speaking. Um, same with this particular Ganny dress. It's a classic cut because it's a sort of wrap design. V front, it's got like that puff sleeve, but not like ridiculously puff sleeve, but enough to sort of give a nice sort of silhouette to it. It nicely comes out, midi length, so it's really flattering length on most of us. Lace up thong sandals, and then later on, either with ankle boots or with tall boots. Um, and also you can see that the model is shown wearing it layered on top of a knit, and that is a perfect way to transition this. If I had this dress, I would do exactly the same thing. It's just what I call a good transition dress. Okay, so with and other stories, I saw this leopard print skirt. Now this leopard print skirt came into stock and then sold out. And then it did that again over and over and over. And currently, at the time of recording this video, this skirt, when I recorded this video about two days before it's going online for the first time, this skirt is in stock and on sale. So I'm including it. Same reasons as before with other items that I've mentioned. It's a classic skirt. The leopard print on it is not obnoxiously big with large dark spots. It's a quite small print, so it's very wearable. Um, this, again, I'd wear it with the same kind of footwear now and the same kind of footwear later. Put this on with solid colored knits, body suits, um, t-shirts, any sort of cropped blouses or just blouses in general. Maybe a loose button down shirt and you just like knot it here so you've got that little definition on the waist. It shows all of the skirt and the skirt stays flat. I think more importantly is if anything goes out of stock, and of the stories is one of those sites that does restock items. Just add it to Shop Tagger, and that way it will let you know, it will send you an email saying, Karen, this is back in stock. <laughs> By the same brand stowed, this bag has now gone on sale as well. I adore this little thing. I just think it's just so dinky. I've always loved wearing it. It's got the little mirror inside. Anyway, so like I said, this one is currently on sale. Um, it's also available in this, it's available in this color on sale and in a couple of other colors as well, including black. Now, the reason why I wanted to include it, A, is because I have a personal sort of experience with it, you know, because I own this bag, but it's a perfect bag to wear now and it's a perfect bag to wear later, especially if you are like me and you love small bags, you like structured bags, um, and you like vintage because to me, this looks like a vintage bag that I would love to find in a store. It just has that vibe of almost being like a makeup case, you know what I mean? Okay, so other things to look out for during the sales, obviously outerwear um, look for blazers cropped jackets that aren't too heavy trenches as well you can start looking for those um, i think those are really useful to wow it's pouring it's gone from really being bright and sunny to pouring can you hear that listen listen down speaking of rain trench coats perfect time of the god they couldn't have timed this rain better perfect time of the year to be looking at trench coats they're already starting to go on sale i'm seeing a few of them out there so I'll, I'll put on screen one or two that i've noticed that i think are worth again the investment you're buying it to wear now when you get the odd day like this but you're also buying it to wear later on. Shoes as well, sort of par away from, you know, looking at summer shoes. You don't really need those anymore. You've probably got enough anyway. So those are the kind of things that I would slowly start to look for during the month of August. Keep in mind things that you can wear for when it's a little bit chillier, when it's raining as it is right now. Anyway, so that is it. Now I'm gonna take you with me. We'll go into a couple of shops out there and I'm just gonna take you around and let you see what are the kind of things I look for? Now, I won't be able to actually speak during the recording for a lot of these places because they have music playing because I'm playing copyrighted music. I'll just put captions on screen, you know, what I picked, why I'm looking at it. It's not about shopping. All I'm doing is just doing like a demo. I'm walking through shops with you so you can see the kind of things that I would want to invest in getting for this month. The things that I'm looking at and the things that I'm avoiding and why for each of those things. So we're gonna do part two of this video, see what it's like, fingers crossed, see what's out there, see what's good for wearing now, but to also obviously keep that thing and wear it later on. All right, so let me go. Um, I changed into this Reformation dress. 
It's very short. This is the one that Paula said, bloody hell, that's not a dress, that's a top. That's a short dress, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you hoist it up to have extra effect. She will eat up for breakfast. Bend down in that. Bloody hell. So I've got that dress on. I love it. I got it from the Reformation sample sale and it's just, oh, it's so easy. It's linen. It's nice and loose, which I love. And it's 91 degrees. So no explanation needed on why I chose to wear it. Bringing my hat with me. Mirrored bag one you've seen before and of course i'll keep my eyes peeled for street star because you know i always do by the way there is another episode three coming at some point <sighs> will it go up in august it should go up in august anyway you know it's coming so i'm in buffalo exchange
anyway i hope you lot enjoyed that i wanted to give you a little bit of a snapshot what is out there from the online and then also on just the streets of new york what to look for what to not especially when at this time of the year it's a bit hot it's a bit sticky but you can still find those gems that are already starting to appear a little bit of summer summer clearance new in so it's a bit of both right now plus you've got pre-fall is slowly starting to creep in all right so that is it that is my lot but have a good weekend my loves i'll see you on instagram between this friday and the next one don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up it helps you just a little bit with shopping especially for right now for august season all right that is it i'm going to stop waffling um everyone thinks i'm an idiot talking to myself on the phone i'll see you guys next week friday bye some of the things that you can buy right now during the summertime because it's august it's still summer but being it's that transition all right <laughs> ah! it's sticky with structured bags especially small structured bag by the same bag bag <laughs> Okay, so today's video. Okay, so to oh, can't stand. Okay, so that is it. Let's go shopping. Well, demoing with you in Manhattan. So, all right. So let's just go. Shit. No. Nope. <laughs> That's recorded. I didn't even know. <laughs>